Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, gosh. Oh, look how pretty that is. So I'm at Tacano's at Sinayan City and took out all this meat. Not even two minutes after sitting down, they delivered all this meat to us. I have some uh, red bean stew here and some veggies as well. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're here at Tacano's Brazilian Barbecue. Uh, here for trying to have some delicious, all you can eat meats galore. That's what that's what the Brazilian Barbecue is known for. Like if you love meat, boom, boom, boom. Hey, come here. Can't wait for you guys to check out the video. Let's do it. And so this is the Picanha Prime Chop Sirloin with black pepper. Go ahead, try it out. Juicy. Ah, oh, it's a delicious piece of meat right there. It's got a, got, a, got a smoky flavor to it. I love that. Let's get in here. And this right here, this itty bitty thing I have is a chicken heart. Oh, it's a good. It's just a simple piece of meat, but ultra delicious. Have it out. Almost gravy like put that on there. Mmm. The mushroom sauce. Definitely. Mmm. It's so good. I'll bring out that juiciness in the, in the steak. This is something else. Looks like it might be a little spicy. Put it on the side here. This on the beef sausage. Uh, mm. I thought it was spicy for a second there, but it's not. It's a really mellow sauce. That's pretty good. Oh, there's a bite to the back. So now I'm going to dig into the chicken here. A piece of the chicken right here. I got some of this sauce here from the chicken. Check it out. It's kind of ooh, like a picante type of sauce. What does it look like? Mmm. Oh, vinegary. I'm gonna taste the cucumbers in there. Mmm. How's take away mm, chicken? Right that's a that's definitely chicken. Boneless chicken breast right there. It's some moist chicken. Some more of that sauce to it. Some more on there. Pick a piece. Add some more of the sauce. That is on point. Oh yeah. Oh, so good. The bite of the vinegar with that chicken, ah, uh, delicious. That looks good. That's awesome. Try some of the sirloin here. Some sauce here. Try some of this sauce. It's like kind of pepperish right here. Put on the meat here. A little bit there. Try it out. Oh, that's interesting. I stand corrected. That's more of a mush. That's a that's like a brown mushroom brown 
sauce right there. It goes really well with that steak. That is great. All right, now. Let me try out the barbecue sauce here. It looks like barbecue sauce. Try it out. Very sweet. A lot of brown sugar in the barbecue sauce. It's pretty good. I mean, it's kind of on the sweet ketchupy side of barbecue sauces. Not really, not really any spice to it. A lot of brown sugar in there. You get into sweetness in it. Some steak here. Where that one go? Yeah, this one. I like this one. This one is really good. Try this. Let me hear it. Oh. Well, I like other sauce. Because the kick isn't immediate, it's like right in the back of your throat. It comes, it comes at the end. Some greens to help with the uh, stuff. Try some of the salad here. Romaine lettuce. Okay. Some zucchini here, zucchini salad. Put it together. Oh, that's a good pairing. I love zucchini. And then pet the pepper from the zucchini salad with the steak here, the saltiness and you know the smoky barbecue flavor of the steak. Really good. Oh, that's awesome. Try some of the chicken. See if it tastes like a Caesar salad. And the romaine lettuce here. Oh, that's good. Perfect. The taste of olive oil in there. That is really good. Chicken goes great with the romaine salad. You can make it like a Caesar salad type of thing. Really delicious. Let me put some of this uh, beef sausage in with my uh, red beans over here. We're gonna mix the uh, sausage, beef sausage, with the red beans here. Red bean sausage here. Oh my goodness! Almost like gumbo. Oh, it's so good. Sausage with the red beans. That is the combination to put together in this place. Chop another piece. Drop it in there. Just to mix it because it's so good. That is delicious. Oh, it's so good. I, love it. I, feel like I feel like I'm a kitten again eating this. It's so good. Ah, that's delicious. Very good. All right, so on point. <clears throat> again, going back to this, uh, Carlos, we have these three. This is the last one. So uh, the idea behind the pineapple is supposedly it's supposed to help with the uh, breaking down of the meat enzymes in your, in your body to help with like cholesterol, high blood pressure, and make her from consuming all the meat. We'll see if that works out well. I'm going to tackle this meat, and then we'll try some more later. I put the green up because now I want to get some more meat. So just waiting on the, the delivery. Go ahead. There we go. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna get there pretty soon. But I'll put it up and here they come. Yes, sir. Oh, that is some beautiful meat right there. Put one more piece. Oh, that is beautiful. Take a break for now. Enjoy this. I'm gonna go like two, two, three pieces at a time. Then get some more. Let's see how I feel. All right. All right. So this is the uh, sirloin steak here, medium rare, as you can see. 
Oh, so good. You can take the fat from the other meats as it falls into it. I'm digging to the peri peri steak here. Because, ah, oh, juice is flowing from it inside the texture there. Oh, that seasons so well. They bring these together when they when they rotate when they, when it cooks and everything. The fat from like the you know the sirloin, the ribeye portion, just falls down onto the other meats. It makes an infusion of flavor. The Brazilian culture is an infusion of many different uh, cultures coming together, so you can taste it in the barbecue. So it's just on point. This is so so delicious. I'm gonna order like two or three pieces at a time. Uh, just to, just just to keep up my tolerance to see how much I can handle, you know, get going. But yeah, this is meat is really really good. If you're a vegetarian, you can come here. They have salads, they have fruits. You can enjoy, but if you love meat, place to be. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's awesome. Can't wrong. I haven't tasted a bad piece of meat yet here. So right now, as you can see, I got my uh, yellow coin up. I want some more meat. Get the green, get this yellow one up. I green, got it up, get some more meat here. This right here is actually beef rump. Beef hump is what this is. Um, yes, it's the bum of a cow. Pretty good. Feels like something you put in like beef stew. That's what the flavor reminds me of. Like meat for a stew. Um, I mean, for the you know for the price that you get at this place so far, you can be. I mean, like if you love meat, again, like I said before, if you love meat, especially you love beef, man, this is on point. Yeah, I love this. This is great. Um, just kick back, relax on a Sunday night. Yeah, yeah. Got some more meat coming here. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice piece of meat there. All right, yeah, I'll get one more. I'll get one more here. It's so tender, thank you. I got black pepper steak here. This is uh, really good. The sauce is a sauce kind of like glazed, smoky flavor, and you take the peppers to it. We're good. Sweet, black pepper and spice. I love it. Kind of enjoy this. You can kind of like sit back and. and one thing, let me go back to your, when you come here to order, they have certain uh, prices for time limits you can stay on. And uh, I chose the 90 minute one, the classic, the classic for 90 minutes. So 90 minutes of sitting here and just eating all you can eat for around $30, uh, which is, yeah, it's actually, yeah, it's, that's a really good deal for like all the, all the meats they're bringing to you and like a buffet that comes with it, salads, fruits, desserts with a buffet if you want that. Uh, but I'm not sure how anybody can get it. Can, if, you, if you can eat all this meat and then to go up there and get desserts after, props to you. You must be like a food eating competitor or whatever. For me, I'm just here for the barbecue. Uh, try to have some farm. Man, this meat has been great. Um, I'm gonna take some, good sir. I'm gonna get a piece of this meat because this thing, I saw the juices flowing. I am envious. Here we go. Look at that juice flowing. Yeah. Okay, one more. Just slice here. Man, look at that. It's, it, it is looking good. You just, that's it. Yeah. I can see. I'm going to take a break here. I just had to get that because I saw the juice was flowing on there and I was just like, oh, I got to get it. It just made me want to. I was like, saw the juice falling. When they were cutting the meat over there, I saw the juice was falling. I almost, juice almost fell out of my mouth drooling. So I was like, yep, I have to get that. Just just, just, just because of how it looked, I had to get it. Um, I, I saw my wife getting it, and I was just like, the ju that's why I was saying the juices are flowing over. Like, ah, I'm a little envious. You know, a lot of times people ask me, how long have I been in Indonesia? I've been in Indonesia for almost four years now. I've been May or July, May or June will be uh, four years here in Indonesia. Um, you know, backstory about me, people, most everybody knows already. I came here. I love the food. I love the country. Uh, I love the people. Uh, you know, this is home for me. One of the great things about Indonesia isn't just the fact that it's like the cost of living is cheap. It's that you, know, you get more than what you paid for. And, and I say that in a positive manner. You get more than what you pay for and that you get like 
you get you get these these vibes from the people from the from the country from the land from just everything around you just get all these vibes positive vibes from there and it's just it's it's a really awesome feeling uh but it's just relaxing here uh one of the things that was interesting was when i was in the military uh i used to have high blood pressure right and so to counteract that i would you know i would eat a lot of healthy fats the doc was like oh you know you have high blood pressure but your blood fat's good within a month of moving to indonesia my blood pressure dropped to normal from high to normal within a month it shows how much i've relaxed since i've been here how much it's you know it's, it's helped me with uh everything i had going in my mind you know i sleep better at night even though there are times i still go to bed late i sleep better at night uh the covid 19 situation here in indonesia is just as crazy as it is anywhere else in the world you know people are still affected by it you know can't travel outside indonesia so we go to certain places i can go in in you know places within indonesia and i try to do that i can go anywhere in jakarta like there's a lot of places in jakarta and the surrounding areas to shoot street to shoot food videos or travel videos uh do reviews of hotels do reviews of you know street street food local places you know i remember like uh, someone commented on instagram on a put was it instagram or youtube i can't exactly remember which one they asked me like for a local joint they asked me if i wanted to like try a certain level with a fast food place like a certain spices level and i i, I replied i'm like like look that's not what i do on this channel what i do on this channel is i go to certain places sometimes i go to places that are like big businesses you know they have their franchises like this on occasion to like that. i think they have like three locations in jakarta come here sometimes but for the majority i want to try and help small businesses street foods review like budget hotels stuff like that keep it simple uh because that's where you get to know indonesia you don't get to know indonesia from mcdonald's you get to know indonesia from kfc you get to know indonesia from super Betawi, from sate kambing sate ayam you know sate taichan like i had uh in Menteng, central jakarta never had that before it was really good <laughs> if i hadn't did that street food video i wouldn't know there was actually someone selling uh Buba i am lazy where there was no one there maybe you serve yourself i don't know so watch in here um but you know you, you get to meet a lot of interesting people here uh i've met famous i met celebrities here in indonesia you know professional fighters trained with them you know worked out with them you know talk with them you know so it's just it's, it's been awesome being here and it's just gonna continue to be awesome I have you know high hopes about you know, living here in Indonesia so if you're living you know in the US uh, growing up I didn't, I, I didn't go anywhere you know I, I grew up in a small town and it was just one of those things I just grew up in a small town and didn't go anywhere and so when I joined the military I joined the Marines back in 1997 my goal was to go overseas that was my plan I was like, like you know what they asked me in boot camp they're like where do you want to go I was like I want to go overseas one of my choices they said Okinawa Japan I said fine I went to Okinawa Japan Spent six years in Japan, uh, left there, went to, went to Germany for three years, um, was in Germany for three years. Uh, while, I, while I was in Germany, for the then three-year tour in Germany, I went to Iraq two times. Uh, you know, did layovers in Kuwait before I went to Iraq, came back to Germany. While I was in Germany, I did like, I traveled to Euro many European countries as I could. Uh, Switzerland, uh, Italy, Spain, France, Austria, uh, Germany. Um, Belgium, you know, Turkey, Brussels, you know, I've been to Qatar, I've been to Dubai, I've been to Malaysia, I've been to Singapore, uh, Korea, I was in Korea for a year. That's how, I, actually, that, that's interesting because that's how I, the first time I came to Indonesia was when I was in Korea. You know, I came to Korea, uh, I was like, okay, what am I doing here? Just hang out in Korea, I always wanted to come to Korea, so the country on my bucket list, Indonesia, and had a great, and you realize I had, you know, it was it. And so the more, I've come to Indonesia so many times while I was in Korea, and then I went back to the U.S., came back to Indonesia, and I was like, okay, this is going to be my home when I retire from the military, and this is it. Retired in 2017, and here I am, back in Indonesia, living here for good. This is my life. Uh, the next country on my list to go to is Thailand. Uh, I want to go to Chiang Mai, Thailand. Uh, maybe eventually after that, go to maybe uh, Taiwan. Uh, another country I want to visit in this area is New Zealand. Uh, I did the European thing, and European Europe itself is you know a beautiful countryside. You know people are pretty good, but for me this is probably the best area to be at to travel. 
because Asia, Southeast Asia specifically, is the best place to be if you want to experience unique and wonderful people. You know, because here in Southeast Asia, there's a blending of cultures. Uh, you have different tribes, and then they have like you know, they just have different cultures, different tribes, and then because of the fact that they've had so many, so much interaction with, with countries from all over, like Por the Portuguese, the Spanish, you know, Arabs, the Dutch. European countries and the Americas so there's a blending of like different cultures of tribes it's just insane like you see it in the people and you see it in the food it's so awesome so I love to live outside the US now living in the US I wouldn't be able to experience 90% of what I have you know I never understood that when I was in the military how people want to stay close to home when you have the opportunity to travel, I took the opportunity and I just want to keep doing that for the rest of my life. I got some jelly here, right there. I'm gonna eat that a little bit later. All right, so in closing, uh, this has been an awesome experience here at Tucano's. Uh, I have no complaints whatsoever. The, 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 the meat has been uber delicious, super delicious. I mean, it's been so awesome coming here. The staff is really friendly when they let you take pictures. You know, they let you talk, you talk to them. You can get as much meat as you want, as they get it, you know, stuff like that. So um, their information, social media information will be in the description box below. Uh, I will also give a brief description of Brazilian barbecue, my research done with it. Um, as always, you know, if you have any comments or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Peace out.